What's up guys, I'm on with Tyler Roberts from Paladin. A lot of times you hear about autonomous drones and people say, yeah, you can fly this from anywhere in the world. Well, we're gonna do that today. I'm in New Jersey. Tyler, where are you? I'm out in Athens, Greece. All right, and then we have one more. We have uh, Larry that's in Texas, right? Officer Larry Bogus out in Memorial Villages Police Department in Texas. All right, so what we're gonna do is uh, Tyler's gonna fly yeah, yeah. M300, that's here in New Jersey, all the way from Greece. And then he's gonna switch over to the Nighthawk, or maybe I got that backwards, you're gonna do the Nighthawk first, and then we're gonna come back to the M300, right? Yes, you got it right. I'm gonna control from Athens, Greece, uh, through our pad on watchtower system, the Paladin Nighthawk, which is our LTE-based drone. And battery life. And then I'm gonna switch over to the M300 in Elizabeth, New Jersey, and control that again from Athens, Greece. So let's get started here. Uh, what I'm going to show you now is our fleet overview. Now, the Paladin fleet overview shows you where all of the drones that you have in your system are. We're starting with the Memorial Villages Police Department in Houston and their drone, Nighthawk 11. What we're going to do once we center on their drone, these are the drones they have, and this is the map. Once we do that, we go down here and we click open. We open up that feed, and boom. We have a drone with live video feed in Memorial Villages, Texas from Athens, Greece. This is our watchtower interface, just a quick rundown. Live video feed, gimbal controls here on the right side of the feed, zoom in, zoom out, and thermal toggle, and full screen options. Down here we have metrics that we think are the most important to track. Battery life, speed, altitude, ETA, and distance from home. Now we designed the system to be about as simple and easy to use as possible. There are three buttons that you click in order to film. Start, drone takes off. Stop, drone hovers in midair. Return to home, drone flies back to where it took off from and lands autonomously. Again, this is the Paladin ZFR system. We're flying from Athens, Greece, and we're about to take off on Paladin's Nighthawk in Memorial Villages, a suburb of Houston, Texas. Officer Larry Bogus there is gonna be our PIC. Uh, the reason he's the PIC is because I'm gonna be controlling two drones right now, but the FAA requires one drone in control. So I will be controlling the Elizabeth M300. Larry, are you ready on your end? Yes, sir. All clear. All right, Larry, what we're gonna do now is we are going to launch the drone. Like I said, all you have to do to launch the drone is click start. From Athens, Greece, Paladin Nighthawk, LTE based, takes off in Memorial Villages, a suburb in Houston, Texas. We have full control, we click start. The waypoint in MVPD is marked by this red marker here. When this icon is highlighted orange, it highlights the flight path between drone and waypoint toggle it off, I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can move it around. What you're seeing here in this dark area is the geofence. Drone hits that, it cannot penetrate that wall. And that is one of our built-in safety features. I click this drop marker, top right corner. I can alter the course that the drone is going to just by simply clicking on the map. Right now I clicked there and the drone is going to switch course and go directly to that point. Let's move it a little closer. Because once the drone actually arrives on that point, what it's gonna do is actually something that was recommended to us by firefighters. Uh, through feedback of firefighters, they said that in an autonomous drone system, what they wanted was a 360 orbiting view right when the drone arrived on scene. So what we have here is a programmed in 360 bird's eye view. Now what we can do here is we can click stop. Stop stops the orbit. Now let's take over some gimbal controls. These are our finite gimbal controls, each with a different degree that changes the drone. You click this button here, it toggles it all the way up to the start. That is, that is a vertical or a, a straight on view. Go ahead and let's toggle this down. Toggle it over. This is a 10X optical zoom with 640 by 512P thermal. Let's go ahead and check out the thermal here. We have a few options. There's your first. 
There's your second. There's your third. We have a dual view and back to normal. That is the overview of Nighthawk and Paladin Watchtower. Now what I want to do here, Larry, go ahead and take control. I'm going to show us clicking RTH. When you click RTH, gimbal goes back up to the horizon as Paladin is committed to privacy. Back up to the horizon and returns to home and lands exactly where it took off. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the Watchtower fleet overview. And we're going to zero in on the Elizabeth M300. The Elizabeth M300, Lewis is acting as a VO. This is in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Lewis, you ready over there? What we have here, fleet overview, you click open on the Elizabeth, New Jersey M300, DJI Matrice 300. Opens up here, same thing, same interface. All you have to do to have it take off is click start. M300. From Athens, Greece. Takes off to its designated altitude and begins doing a straight line to its waypoint. Elizabeth, New Jersey is located in Class B airspace. Newark International right here. Through Paladin's waiver process, we were able to get beyond visual line of sight, which allows me to operate in Athens, Greece a drone in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Once the drone arrives on scene, it starts doing its orbit, just like the other drones. We're now able to gimbal down, just like on the other drones. Click stop, drone hovers, gimbal down, zoom. Thermal capabilities, full screen mode and the same functionalities with any drone integrated with Nighthawk. RTH, drone returns to home. Lewis, you still got eyes on? Perfect. Now the drone takes, it lands exactly from where it took off from. This is Tyler Roberts from Paladin along with Larry Bogus, Officer Larry Bogus from Memorial Village Police Department, and Detective Lewis Figueredo from Elizabeth, New Jersey. I flew the drone from Athens and I controlled it in Houston and I controlled it in Elizabeth. As you can see, right there is the Acropolis. Hope you all enjoyed. We look forward to the progression of drones as first responders, EFR by Talent.